Okay, so it's been a minute. I was recovering from being sick. I made some spaghetti with Italian sausage and garlic bread. And I should give this dog a bone right now so he can leave me alone. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Pause. Okay, so it's been a hot minute. Been a hot ass minute. I've been sick for about a week and two days and I'm finally recovering. So I just took a bath. I have a hair mask on. I'm just doing a little bit personal care. You know, honestly, I never ever got this sick that much until I got the you know what. But for the most part, I mean, I had a good immune system until speculation. But yeah, we're healthy. Trying to be. Don't even come after me after my sauce, okay? This is vodka sauce. It's all underneath. I do not like a lot of sauce, just enough, just like a sliver of it to slurp it down. But yeah, go make your own sauce. My cats are causing a ruckus. Bro, stop.
y'all ever take advice from people you just like don't care to take advice from because that's where i'm at I feel like there are people <clears throat> as of late who've kind of been sh not shitting on my occupation, but like, like a relationship, right? Where they're like, oh, you can do so much better. And like, I'm good with where I'm at, you know? <laughs> But I feel like there's always pros and cons to everything when it comes to relationships, when it comes to jobs. And for me, even though some days get really tough, I actually found something that I have a passion for that I wanna go further into and that was really hard for me to get for a very long time. Like I was talking to this girl and she's like, um, you don't get this and this and this. I'm like, yeah, I voiced my concerns about it. Not much I can do when it's a privately owned company. Have I been looking for other jobs? Yeah. But my plan of action has always, like, I don't like to talk about it out loud. But now that I'm in this sector, I can finally do that plan. Um... Uh, and you know, this person just added their two cents when the ironic part was they're not treated the best at their job in general. So it's like, thanks for adding your two cents, but I don't know. I've just been doing customer service for so long. And then I'll have people around me be like, no. Nope. Just always adding their two cents. And it comes back down to not caring what people think. I think I just wish I always had like the perfect comeback. Because sometimes I'm just like, did you really just insult my ass? Because I have no words for you. I've always been very like freeze response, turn the other cheek, act like it's not happening.
You know what it is? Like most people, we don't have to be nice to each other. But when you don't respect me as a human being, especially someone who's being nice, why should I give you continue to give, to give you my respect? And then they make you feel like you're crazy. I'm like, how am I supposed to be calm in this situation right now? I don't know. Sometimes I feel like people just go looking for things, and I'm just chilling, driving in my lane, and I'm like what's your problem who hurt you But I try so hard not to take things personal. And when someone tries to make it personal, even though I know it's not, I'm like, why am I the scapegoat for your problems? Because <laughs> I'm not a punching bag, you know? I love Chicago, but I definitely believe that the weather impacts people's moods and I never know what I'm going to get with people, especially patients who I see almost every other day. Like, oh, now you're not in a nice mood or now you're in a nice mood and I just have to navigate people's moods without like pissing them off. I'm just sick and tired of catering to other people. Like there was this one lady who was just so blatantly rude and disrespectful to me and everybody else that we worked with and someday she'd be really cool literally she grabbed my ass one day like out of playfulness and i just was uncomfortable with it so i ratted on her and um <clears throat> Like she was being cool with me that day and I remember being like, she's like, oh, if that person's effing with you, like she was kind of like protecting me, like she was kind of hood. And then she, I was like, I don't know why people like try to fuck with me. And she was just like, oh, maybe because you have stupid written on your face. And I'm thinking to myself, like I said it out loud, but she didn't even hear me. I'm like, that's a ruse, you know, act dumb. Like act like you don't know what's going on. I see everything that's going on. <laughs> I'm like, why do I care what you think about me? You look like I wanted to be like, good thing we don't judge books by its covers in this bitch. So I've never had an older sister, thank God. But this one bitch I work with, I love her, but I hate her. I mean, it's such a love-hate relationship. And I only see her two days out the week, sometimes once a week. And she comes from another place to help me. But she's always got to say some shit about some shit. <laughs> Oh, you're doing this or oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Like, she's always implying that it's like, um, 
She's like, I don't know what you're doing to piss these people off. I'm like, it's all old ass ladies. Like, I'm just chilling here. And like one of her girls who she's known, I'm gonna call her a girl, but she's an old ass lady. She's catered to her needs for forever. And she just started having beef with me out of nowhere because of the other hood ass lady. And she thought I was like friends with her when she sat my ass. And I was like, no, that was a decoy. So y'all don't get into it. But I'm glad I sacrificed my ass for you and you didn't appreciate it. It just drives me nuts when someone tells me, calm down, or you have an attitude, or you're trying to fight with me. And I'm like, if you want to see not calm, if you want to see attitude, if you want to see me fighting with you, I will show you. And that's not a side of me you want to see. I've been goaded. I've been... I've been tested and I haven't reacted in a very long time, but I keep building up to this crazy story that I need to tell you. I'm just not proud of this chapter that I need to discuss. I was thinking of all of the story terms I could tell you. And then I turned the camera on and I really didn't think about it. I'm like, I don't want to talk about that bitch. I don't want to talk about this time, you know, but as I've said before, this is my video diary. I want to let go and move on from the past by talking about it. Sometimes it's just way too painful for me and uh, makes me lose my appetite. And I've talked about this so many times. Like, get, get to the fucking story. Sorry, this one was kind of lame. I just really feel like I'm still recovering from this fucking flu. And, um, knock the wind out of me, y'all. Nasty. Ugh. So gross. I got this bread from Panera fresh today. And then I just did a little garlic, a little butter. Is there any job that you can have that's not customer service or do you just always have to deal with the fucking public?
Yeah. All right, this is the dent that we made. Ooh. Oh. All right, everybody. Thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for listening to me. Thanks for fucking with my low energy. I'm just like, on to the next day. On to the next day. On to the next day. Yeah. I really want to do in and out and I'm so sad they don't have one in the Midwest. Like I might have to just do a road trip to Colorado and just, I mean, that's the closest one to Chicago. I want in and out so bad. It's been like, it's been like 98 years. Peace out y'all.